On April 24, 2015, we wish a very happy birthday to the Hubble Space Telescope. This date marks 25 years since its launch into space. If Hubble were a human, it could now rent a car without restrictions. But I digress. So why is Hubble such a big deal? Hubble is the first major optical telescope to be placed in space, and its launch in 1990 marked the most significant advance in astronomy since Galileo's telescope. The great thing about Hubble is, unlike ground-based telescopes, it's uninhibited by the Earth's atmosphere. The reason why this is so significant can be better explained by senior research astronomer at the Space Telescope Science Institute, Robert Williams. The Earth's atmosphere both absorbs and distorts light. It absorbs all of the gamma rays, all of the X-rays, all of the ultraviolet, a substantial fraction of the infrared, and we really want access to that. And the part of the electromagnetic spectrum that it does not absorb, the visible, it distorts. So, just to compare, if a ground-based telescope took a picture of, say, a gas cloud in the Magellanic Clouds, it would look like this. Mm -mm. As opposed to that same gas cloud, captured by Hubble, would look like this. Mm -hmm. So the fact is, you get a much better focus from uh, space above the atmosphere, and therefore you can detect fainter objects, and that's really important. According to NASA, since Hubble began its mission in 1990, it has made over 1 million observations. Using this data, astronomers have published more than 12,700 scientific papers, making it one of the most productive scientific instruments ever built. Because of Hubble, scientists were able to estimate the age of the universe with increased precision. And MIT professor Jeff Hoffman and MIT alumni Mark Lee, John Grunsfeld, and Mike Massimino are all part of the Hubble family. John Grunsfeld takes the prize for serving on the most Hubble surfacing missions, STS-103 in 1999, STS-109 in 2002, and STS-125 in 2009. Alumnus Mike Massimino comes in a close second to Grunsfeld serving on two Hubble surfacing missions, STS-109 in 2002 and STS-125 in 2009. Once I became an astronaut, the three missions of the five were up to the Hubble Space Telescope, and so I've gotten the name of Hubble Hugger because I think the Hubble is just the most incredible scientific instrument ever created by people. And it's really amazing to be able to go on a spacewalk and, and fix the Hubble. The way the power systems work, the way the optics work, the way it, it was made to be serviceable by astronauts, just an incredible engineering accomplishment. And it shows us the beauty of the, of the universe. And I think it hits an area of science where everyone can be interested. Everyone can go out, outside of the house and look and wonder what's up there. And, and Hubble shows us that, so I think it has appealed to every person on the planet. Couldn't have said it better myself, Mike. It's been a great 25 years, Hubble. <laughs>